What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are out here in the middle of the city and we're here to do some urban creek fishing. Got this little creek right here, the water is very low, um, but we're hoping to find something living in it. I love getting into these urban spaces. I love just like catching fish in plain sight, you know, like right, right where people maybe least suspect it. And there's so many people that drive over these bridges that run through this town and don't even think twice about wetting a line in these creeks. But I for one know from experience that these are some of the best places to get out and catch a ton of them and a bunch of different species too. So in hand today, I've got just my old, well, little secret jig on the HCC crappie six, six foot six inch medium. And uh, we're gonna go to work. I see some deeper water this way. And I also see um, a really cool painting on the bridge that I wanna check out. I haven't seen that before. Uh, we're gonna go that way first. Then we might actually hike back and go that way. But the creek has definitely changed since the last time I was here. I've got about an hour and a half that I can fish today. so. Let's get after it and let's see what we can catch. Well, we've been in the creek for about 30 seconds. We already have our first interesting find. I don't wanna mess around with that, but that is a dead gray squirrel. And honestly, guys, I think that's the first uh, gray squirrel that I've ever found dead in a creek. I don't know if he drowned or if he just got washed up in here or got eaten by a cat or, or what happened, but that's kind of weird. But y'all can see this water is crystal clear. And I like this creek because it's easy to walk in. Um, good gravel, got some good chunk rock. But I'm not seeing anything in this pool and it's actually cut off. And you can see that it's isolated from all this. We might have to find another section that's got a little bit deeper water. Oh, there's a fish. I might have spooked him. Oh, here we go, here's a snake, snake. Snake, gotcha, there we go. Well, I thought our first catch of the day was gonna be a fish, but it is in fact a little snake. Look at this little guy. Right up here next to this cool bridge, a tiny little Midland water snake. This is a little juvenile, he's probably a foot long. We've been catching some big ones recently in the creeks we've been fishing in, but he's just a little tiny guy. We're gonna go ahead and send him back and get back to fishing. We'll see you. Oh guys, we're in the tunnel. We got another snake. Another snake in the tunnel. In the tunnel. Let's bring him out here. Look here. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Trying to go through the tunnel, we found another snake. Second catch of the day is a gorgeous little plain belly. Ah, he bit me. Look at this one here. Second snake, new species. This is the plain belly water snake. And this one here is absolutely gorgeous. Got beautiful patterns on his back. Got that bright yellow cheek. They have a beautiful yellow belly. That was cool. I took two steps into this tunnel and uh, saw him there slithering. I had to make sure it was a plain belly and not a cotton mouth because it's kind of dark in there. But I was pretty sure it was a plain belly from the get-go. He's also missing the tip of his tail. He's got a little nubby tail. That's cool. We'll send him back here into his tunnel. That's where he wanted to be. I also see something else pretty interesting though. Let's send him back. Oh, that was cool. We got him go. So I was originally going to go through this one, but this in here looks kind of sketchy. This tunnel actually features another secret tunnel. I see the other side. Maybe one day we'll go through it and see what it's all about. We'll take this way. Okay, I'm not seeing any fish, but I see something else that's kind of interesting. I think it's worth going and taking a look at. If it doesn't get away, I think I got him. Oh yeah. Oh, this water's cold. Why is this water so cold? Oh, no, got gotcha. you, got gotcha. you. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, she's mad. Look at that. There we go. Our first turtle of the day. This is a thick one. That is a big red eared slider and she is grumpy. She did not like that. I mean, she's like perfect. She's a little mossy on the back, but she looks good. <laughs> There's a ton of these turtles out here in this creek. They ought to call this place Turtle Creek. But uh, that's our first one we've, that we've seen today. A beautiful female. You can tell she's a female. Surely they pull from the GoPro, but the females have really, sh really, really small toenails. The males of this uh, species will have really long, freaky toenails, like undeniably long toenails. But she is just, she's just chilling. She was a little grumpy. But she's cool. I like her a lot. We're gonna send her back. And we're actually gonna hike back to the car and I try to find a spot with a little bit more water. That's all connected. There's so many just shallow pools and there's just nothing in them. I think the fish went downstream. 
we'll send this thing back on back on her way I bet she scoots you gonna go you gonna go she's so thick her head is huge see you all right so change of plans I was gonna go down to another stretch on the creek that I was fishing but uh, I passed over this one creek while I was on the way, and it's actually a spot that I've never fished before. As you can tell, I'm literally walking on the side of the road. People have been honking at me. I parked the car back there. Hopefully it's okay to park there. I'm not gonna be here too long, but I've always wanted to check this spot out. I just never have. There's a bunch of big rocks, and there's a big pool. I think you could get nasty pretty quick right there. Um, we're just gonna have to jump in and find out. It doesn't look like it's a very deep creek, but this hole could have some fish. There we go. First fish of the day, right here on the side of the road. Looks like there's a hole up there and there's a hole on the other side, but we're literally just right here on the side of the road. We got our first fish of the day. A little green sunfish. This is probably gonna be like the, the dominant species we catch out here today. So I've seen a few others and I actually saw something really crazy just swimming underneath that ledge right there. I doubt he's gonna come out and eat my stuff, but it is nice to know that they are there hanging out. Oh, another one, bigger one. Dude, that ledge is loaded with them, I think. It's a good looking spot. We got this little underpass thing here. We got some current, got a little deep hole. We got some green sunnies. Finally, we're catching them. I couldn't believe we didn't catch a single fish in the first spot. It was just too shallow. I think there's a shovel down there too. I think I'm gonna get it. Looks like there's a shovel down there. We made a couple of casts from up top. Oh, he wants it. Every time I pass that ledge right there, they come out and try to get it. Man, this place is messy. Yeah, dude, there's a shovel. Any snakes? Oh, snap, look at that. I found me a shovel. I'm definitely gonna take that home with me, but I'm gonna leave it right here. In the meantime, I'm gonna check this one spot up right here. I can't tell if it's deep or not. Man, fishing these urban creeks is just crazy. And you never know what you're gonna find in them. And it's just always so crazy that there's actually fish in here. But the thing is that these creeks were here long before the town was developed, so. And there's a bunch of shiners and stuff out there. I mean, look at this. This right here ain't gonna be no good, but we just found a shovel. And now, we found a drill. Huh. Found a shovel and a drill. In this urban creek hopefully that's about as crazy as something we find out here any fish up there so much bait oh 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 that looks interesting got him i don't know what that is i don't think that's a green sunny yep yeah it is another little green sunfish and there's a bunch of little catfish in here. I'm just gonna go up here and turn the corner. Looks like there's a little bit of a deeper run right here that could have some fish, but I gotta be kind of stealthy and make a long cast because they're seeing me and they're getting spooked. There we go. Oh, oh, is that a bass? Let's go, we got a bass. All right, look at that. Second fish species of the day is a little largemouth. That's exciting. You know, there's a ton of bait fish out here. Definitely enough bait that it could grow a big old bass in this little creek. I think we just gotta find the deepest pools, but it's cool that there are some little bass out here hanging out here in the urban creek. Send him back. He went right back where I caught him at. Oh, 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 that spot's loaded. Okay, we gotta shove the spot right here. There's a lot of fish right here in front of me. Oh, they want it so bad. Oh, got him. There's some good ones. Those all bass. That green sunny went there and smoked it from them. There's some good sized fish up there hanging out. No nice little green sunny. I mean, they are darting for it. They want it bad. Eat it. Got him. Oh, that's something different. Hey, third species in the creek, guys. Look at that. We've got a bluegill. 
We've got a bluegill. We are one species away from getting the big four in these urban creeks. I'll let y'all guess what the fourth one is. Hopefully we can connect with one before it's gone. I've seen a few swimming. Gotcha. Oh, he came off, that dirty dog. That was actually a decent one. What's good about this spot right here is we got a little bit of a deeper channel. It's not very deep. It's probably like, honestly, just like a, oh, it smoked it. Oh my gosh, how did I miss? It's only like a foot deep, but there's some roots hanging over the edge of the bank and they're all hanging out in those root balls and coming out and smoke. Oh gosh, here we go. Little guy. I didn't even feel him bite it. Look how tiny and cute he is. He's got good colors. This would be a good fish tank fish. We've got one fish tank that's already all occupied with a bunch of fish in our house. I've been wanting to get another one going. This would be a good place to catch some little baby sunfish to put in it. There we go. Another one. Nice. That's our biggest one. Is that a hybrid? Yes, that's a hybrid. That's a hybrid between a bluegill and a green sunfish. You can see he's not as like uh, long and cylindrical as a green sunfish. Got a little bit different colorations. It's got these blue spots on the sides. Cool fish. Okay, another species. Another species. We need one more. Oh, they're fighting for it. I love watching them down there. Man, there's another hybrid. It's always so surprising how many fish can live in one hole in an urban creek like this. Another beautiful hybrid. He's got more yellow on him. Oh, I see our fish that we're looking for right here in front of me. We can probably catch one. Oh, he's not eating it? I caught a leaf. The fish I want is literally right in front of me. Oh, he missed it. Oh, shoot. Another one. Is that a bass? Nope. Green sunfish. Hybrid. That's crazy. Another hybrid sunfish. You'll get that in these spots like this where these fish are really condensed. You don't have a lot of separation. They'll just all hybridize with each other. Man, it's every cast. I promise you guys, it can't be more than cast deep up there where I'm casting, but it's just deep enough and in the shade and got some structure and they are just chilling. Another one. <laughs> it's awesome. Little chubby guy. I mean, right underneath my feet. Not scared of me at all. That's another hybrid. There honestly might be more of these hybrid sunfish than a green sunfish. You can, tell, you can really tell how this one's a hybrid. Shaped just like a bluegill, but he's got that big green sunfish mouth. It's a cool fish. I'm gonna step in and show you guys this spot. I'm gonna move up to another area, but this is where these fish are hanging out in. You can see these roots, and you can see it's a little less than knee deep in this deepest little spot. But there's just fish everywhere. There's like some murky stuff right here. There might have been something up in there. It's kind of interesting. I really want to try this spot right behind me, but I'm tempted just to keep going a little further up and see what's around this corner. If it doesn't look as good as this spot, then I'm going to go back there and check it out because I think it's going to be a honey hole. Oh, I see a turtle. You got another turtle. You got another turtle. And he's trying to hide. Oh, don't go in there. Oh, this one's crazy looking too. Don't bite me. Whoa, look at the head on that thing. Oh my gosh. That is a crazy looking turtle. He's trying to bite me. Oh my gosh. That is a beautiful turtle. That looks like a river cooter. But it's a melanistic. Melanistic meaning that it's like got a bunch of black pigment. Looks like he got like a weird tumor or something on his chin right there. Look at that. He wants to bite. He's grumpy. Yo! Yo! <laughs> he thinks he's part snapping turtle. Yee, hello. What a grumpy guy or grumpy girl. She got kind of a little bit of damage right here in her shell. You can see it's kind of broken. I don't know if she got hit by a car or, or what happened, but. I mean, this one here's got a humongous head like that other one we saw in the creek. Different species though. 
I mean, look at that thing. Out here living her best life in this urban creek, eating all these little minnows and moss. She's gonna moss you back too. I mean, that is a gorgeous turtle. I mean, really cool. Whoa, and really grumpy. Okay, we're gonna send you back, grumpy turtle. I'm glad we grabbed her though, because she is awesome. Where are you going? There she goes. Take us to the fish. Here we go. Oh, it works. Huh, looky here, I found a flashlight. And I found a saw blade. Look at that, add that to the list of crazy things we found in the creek today. A saw blade and a working flashlight. Look at it. Pretty cool, I'm gonna put this flashlight in my pocket. We still gotta pick up our shovel on the way back. All right, here we go. There's my shovel. And hopefully this is my way to a nice fishing hole. What's that, some birds? Oh, we got a mommy bird up here. Can y'all see this? Look at here. We got a mommy bird and babies. Aw. She got a good spot. She got this whole thing to herself. <laughs> it's gonna be really disappointing if this hole it's not as good as I hope it is. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay back. Can y'all see what's happening? I see some fish hanging out. I'm gonna stay on the edge for a second. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish right there. Oh my gosh. That was instant. There's a green sunfish. Okay, I'm actually gonna go back this way and approach it from the other side because this tunnel is uh, leading out to the deeper spot on that and I will definitely spook them. So we're gonna go through this other tunnel. Actually, we're gonna go up on the road. Forget that, we're gonna go up on the road. This fishing spot looked way cooler from down there but there is a ton of fish and we're up here so we're not gonna spook them. Got him. There we go, a little hybrid. Little hybrid bluegill right here on the side of the road. Oh, he smoked it. Jeez. Got him. Dang, another green sunny. There is a really nice fish down there and he keeps looking at my bait and just keeps missing it or something will beat him to it. I mean, I got my eyes on him though. He's right here. Oh, got him. That's a nice one. A bluegill, purebred. That's a decent little bluegill from up here. Man, if this was just a little bit deeper, this would be stacked with fish. Still quick catch a bluegill up here. I see a little bass. And I see my target species still down there just swimming around, just swimming with no care in the world. Just can't get him to bite. Got you. Is that him? Oh, we did it. We did it. We, com we completed the the Urban Creek Slam. This isn't the one I was trying to catch. There's one down there that's like twice as big and twice as beautiful, but we finally did it, guys. Completed the Slam with a beautiful long-eared sunfish. This here's colors are a little more muted than the one I'm seeing down there. The one I'm trying to catch down there is really just a vibrant orange with a lot of blue speckles, but finally, we got our, our long-eared sunfish. So one thing that I, I failed to mention earlier is just how hot it is out here today and how hot it has been here in central Arkansas the last couple of weeks. It's crazy hot. So that's why we've been uh, taking ourselves out here to the water and doing this sort of wave fishing adventure just so we can keep cool and still be able to get out and enjoy fishing this time of year. And it's a great time to actually catch a bunch of fish. And usually when you get in these small creeks and rivers, it's not hard to catch. Especially when if you're in a little, little urban sea ditch, these fish are pretty easy to catch. Sometimes they're not very big like the ones we've caught today, but 
it's still just so much fun. You know, I travel all across the country fishing and I fish nearly every day. And uh, there's just something about this that still gets me excited to this day because you literally never know what you're gonna find in these creeks. You never know what you're gonna catch. And you never know like when you're gonna turn the corner and you're gonna find like just this absolutely money, juicy hole full of big ones. So that's what we're always looking for when we're exploring new areas of these creeks. We didn't exactly find that today, except for maybe by the bridge. Maybe we'll come back here in the springtime and there's a little bit more water and see what's hanging out. But what we did find was a lot of life out here. We caught basically everything that lives in these creeks, the green sunfish, the bass, the bluegill, the long ear sunfish and some hybrids. And it was a lot of fun. But with all this being said, it's hot. My GoPro has died because of the heat. GoPros just don't do good in the heat, guys, especially this hot Arkansas heat. So we're making our way back to the car now. We're gonna go and grab ourselves some drinks, but not before I show you guys my last find of the day. We got one last find. Oh, baby. We got some sunglasses. <laughs> oh, they're broke bad. Those are broke bad. Think I should trade? How do these look on me? <laughs> oh, man. I said, guys, you never know what you're gonna find in these creeks. But anyways, we're heading out of here. We're gonna get back to the car, go get some drinks, take it easy until this afternoon. I think we're gonna go fishing somewhere else later on. But until then, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully y'all are inspired to get out and check out your local city creeks and see what's living in them. If y'all enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Bye guys.